I know they have a tight end down here. Pemberton met in the hole and Trevin dropped Wallace. right there by Trevin Wallace, the junior. And another tackle, seven stop. Pressure comes. Samanza dropped. The yeah, third no sack go. of the game for Kentucky, the eighth behind the line of screen. Look at the look at the blue wall on defense. I mean, these guys get off the snap, vertical penetration, and probably looking to push it down the field. Now they run back toss. Cooper. Again, Trevor Wallace making another outstanding play for Kentucky. Boy, does McKinney look comfortable. So to Sloan, close to a first down, but that could be the break that the Wildcats needed. The crowd loves it, and a big turnover. First one of the day, there is Keyshawn Silver. He Looks like Trevor Wallace came in here, and I don't know if he stripped the ball or not. On third down, thanks in part to this cool customer. Not this time. All over him was Trevin Wallace. Playing downhill last week, just the way Coach Wattpin back there. SEC Defensive Player of the Week last week. Trevin Wallace just relentless coming with the. Wow, bearing down like a heat seeking missile is Trevin Wallace, the reigning SEC Defensive Player of the Week. Nothing what Brad Jackson is doing, Brad White is doing, defensive coordinator. And I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. Kentucky crowd making noise. McKinney under pressure from Wallace. Didn't have a chance. There goes that man again, Trevor Wallace. And the thing I like about, I don't know if he had the back man-to-man -man coverage, but he saw something, and he pulled the trigger, and he talked about it last week. Pete, the pin back, and come rushing after the quarterback. They do. Down goes DJ Irons at the 30. Trevin Wallace. Well, you, they show pressure, but they bring it from the opposite side and it confuses irons just enough for him to have to hang on to the ball irons looking up top having to step up thrown down by trevin wallace for the second time he's gotten to the quarterback tonight yeah trevor wallace playing that will linebacker about how quick he gets to the quarterback here he gets blocked by the running back doesn't stop gets up and makes the tackle. Otherwise, that could have been a walk-in. Well, the ex exceptional wide receiver who's in jet motion. They'll start on the ground with Johnson, who's tackled after just a gain of a yard. That was Trevin Wallace bringing him down. Is it Walker, Ian Graham Mertz on third and five. They drop eight. And that ball's intercepted. And on the return is Wallace inside the 20. He was looking for Boardingham. It was deflected, and Wallace picks it off. Well, how about the big body Dion Wise, who actually drops out? Look at him right here in the middle of the field. He's in coverage, and he's one of the guys that gets oh. the hit and pops it in the air. It was Trevin Wallace that was coming on a blitz, and he had the awareness to turn around, locate the football, and Kentucky gets its ninth takeaway of the season which leads the SEC. Bradger as Pearsall motions. ETN, boy, they had that every which way. Fit it up perfectly and pushed straight back. Was he run defense at the point of attack, being more physical than the Gators up front. And then the Spider-Man gift on both sides of the line of scrimmage, Milton. Lowers his shoulder for about a yard or two. Deion Walker. And they've got Seth Davis, freshman out of Katy, Texas, his first carry. And he got depleted. Barnett Jeffrey Pittman with the first touch. They're just trying to grind it out here as Pittman gets a carry and maybe gets a yard. Two of the more deliberate offensive teams in the SEC. About earlier. 
Third down and 13. Milrow. And he just has to throw it away as Trevin Wallace, one of the few guys on the field that could match speed with Jalen Milrow, was right in front of him. Usually QB spies on Milrow, so he's going to pass off the route, and he's going to have eyes on Milrow and try to... Oh, we'll wait for that. Leggett with a change of direction to the backfield. Trying to do it again. And he won't survive. Gets taken down finally by Trevor Wallace. It's a loss of 17 yards. How banged up South Carolina is, but you can reverse field once. Twice never works, especially with Trevor Wallace on the other side. I don't know. Cole did a U-turn on your... There's Anderson. Dragged down behind the line of scrimmage by Trevin Wallace. Time out. Kentucky. Jordan almost got to the corner, but was chased down that time by Wallace. We we're talking about Dion. Rondo again, and this time struggling to get back to the line of scrimmage. Good run fit by Kentucky. Now, Trevin Wallace did a nice job of just finding a crease. He was able to skip in the backfield. And again, not an easy defense to run at. The open guy gets it. For down and one. Lorendo. He's denied. Stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. De'Eric Jackson and Wallace were involved on the tapping. One. Lorendo. Can he get there? He is driven. The Kentucky front with Wallace and Ripka. Stout Kentucky D-line, the second best in the SEC against the run, showing up at a massive critical moment. And Mark Stoops loves it. Brad White's defense, Mark Stoops, of course, foundation of this program. is Work took TCU to the CFP title fight. And on first down, here is Mafa trying to squeeze a yard or two. Kentucky was right there. Wallace made the stop. Quarter this year. Lubnick wants to throw. Pumped in trouble now. Trying to make something happen to his left. And shoved out of bounds by Wallace. That'll be a loss of a yard or two. Back to the 40. That's Tim really moving the line of scrimmage here yeah they're winning up front you can see pressure inside from joshua hayes he gets home flushes club nick outside